Hello YouTube, Mr. Forks, Den on a Bouncy Castle, and I'm actually sitting on a chair. Now, like I said, if you've checked out the Premiere Pro tutorial that I've just uploaded, I am going to be doing a Final Cut tutorial for every Premiere Pro tutorial. So if I cover something in one, I'm going to cover it in the other. That way I push myself and we all learn something, apart from me, because I'm doing the teaching. Okay, so creating titles in Final Cut, pretty, pretty easy. Um, I'm going to bring in two pieces of footage, like in Premiere Pro. Um, this is telling me do I want to match the settings of the clips. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Jeffrey. Um, so we've got a couple of clips in here now. Boom, boom, boom. Command minus to zoom out. And we're going to go into effects. Now this works differently in uh, in in Final Cut. We've got to go to video, video generators, and there's a text. Hey, that was just Familia returning from the doom and gloom, and I double clicked on it, which gives me a whole new window to look at text. And what I can actually do is grab it and add it as a tab. So now I've always got my text as a completely new shelf. We're just going to do normal text. And that's how you add text. Double click on it. It will load its uh, parameters into here. So if we go into controls, we've got control over this. We can change it to a Dan Allen film. Click out of that box and it will update in the uh, canvas. If we go into motion, we can change the center. So this is very simple. Press, press this center button and then you can click and drag anywhere in here and move the text around. So I might want it to come up here. You can do it in the actual controls. There's a origin here, which obviously is pretty handy if you're just controlling the text. but. I like to show you that because you can also do it with footage, so now you know how to do it with footage and with text. We're always learning something. You can change the font, obviously. Um, Make Me Alpha is a pretty cool font. Check that. You can change the color style. You've all heard of this stuff. But some people haven't. Some people aren't as lucky as you. And they won't know what text options are. But never mind. Now, one thing to bear in mind is that sometimes you will not be able to see text. And the reason that is, is because it's the background's all different colours, so some bits you'll be able to see clearly, some you won't. And that's why uh, Apple are very cool. They gave us a pre-done outline text. So we grab and bring an outline text into the timeline. It's got an outline. So make uh, double-click it to get its parameters so um, DA productions pre um, do a new line presents like that you got a few more options with uh, this one we can still we might still be able to do the make me alpha font yeah yeah can still do that um, for me the um, the actual thickness is a bit OTT, so we can change that if we just have a look. Yeah, increase the softness. We can change the line width, and now it's a lot easier to see. But you can see it on any surface. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And just like in Premiere Pro, we can also add video transitions. So I want to add like a uh, a wipe. So if we're going to go into wipes. Can do it. I want a linear wipe, really. I think the best one for that. I'm going to go gradient wipe. Double click that. Get its parameters. Increase the softness.
It doesn't like to work. I don't know why that is. Let's get rid of that. Let's try an edge wipe. Set it to the end. Yeah, that's going to work. Double click it. Increase the border. Feather edges. Yep. Like that. So then, if we play this back, and that's going to feather out. Fantastic. So it's pretty easy to create some simple text. Now, what Apple wants to do really is that it's encouraging you to use Motion. Now, Motion's pretty cool because Apple's programs are very light, which I like. Um, so I could right click and press center motion, and it would instantly create a motion project with the text in it and that text would already be back in our project which is pretty cool. I'm not going to go into that now but I may do a tutorial on sending to motion and when I do the Premiere Pro counterpart it would be sending to After Effects. Uh, that's all I really want to cover in this tutorial. Um, one thing I will do which I did in Premiere Pro is the scrolling text. Um, so just like in a feature film um, when you get credits come up at the end double click it. We're going to go controls Hello, Hello, Ashley. Are you podcasting? I'm podcasting, Ashley. Hello, podcast. It might not be able to hear you. You can come and talk if you want. Okay, don't. Have you done video? No, no, they can't see you, but um, oh. they can see the screen and they can hear us. It is a good job that I am not wearing clothes then, and they cannot see me. <laughs> yes, that is very good. So, Ashley, we'd, what we're doing is creating end credits for a film. So, what kind of end credits might come up with? It might come... Um, uh, key Grip. Starring who? Key Grip. He does all the stunts. He holds, oh, the, yeah, yeah. He holds the grip, I uh, think. Key Grip. Um, How do no animals were hurt in the making? No animals were hurt. Except one small dog named Foofy. Except one small dog named what's he called? Foofy. Foofy. And see, we now got a cool scrolling text. We didn't have to like change anything, like in Premiere Pro. Um, the only thing we've got to watch is that this text is actually very much towards the edges. If we change the alignment, keep that at center. Um. We need to change something. Something here. Just go play around with the settings. In fact, what we can do is in motion we can decrease the scale. And now come on. That looks very professional. It, it does. It, it looks pretty cool, except obviously that won't start key grip, face, and no animals were hurt. But some animals might get out. But some might, and that's always the risk you take when you make a film. Like in Doctor Doolittle. Like in Doctor Doolittle. Um, so that's pretty much the end of this video. You've learned how to create some simple text, play around with the settings. I can't tell you what to do, but you can tell yourself. So that's a very good motto. I, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. He likes. Look, look. Check this. This is a video. That's my dad. Um, have you seen my film Reflection? Oh, well, he went back and remade it, and that's him pretending to be a woman. This, um, I'm going to edit this, and it's going to be out soon, guys, so you'll be able to watch this. It will be pretty cool. Um, I'll see you guys soon.